Hi, Kerry here from My Cloud Bookkeeping. Today, I'm walking through a recent change to your QuickBooks Online invoice feature. The invoice function has been updated to be a lot more intuitive and to enable you to make changes without having to jump in and out of different screens. Now, this is a change I like. Let's have a look at the new functionality in the sample company. So let's pop up to the top left to New and choose Invoice. So this is the old layout. Um, the other way, of course, to get in is to go to Sales and Invoices. I find a lot of more clients go this route and you click Create Invoice. So for the new version, we want to pop up to the top here and click Update Layout. And yes, we're going to update the layout. And it won't be long and you won't have the option to change back and forth. It, when you open, it's just going to permanently be exactly what you see here right now. And as you can see, it looks very different. You can make changes to the logo and the company information right here without having to open up another screen. You can click Edit Company right here. You may want to change something just for one of your customers, perhaps put a different phone number or a different email address on this particular invoice without changing your company information overall. When you select your customer, you then have options to also edit the customer right here in this page without having to previously you had to go right out, of course, and log into the customer section. So if for some reason you want to update an address or here we go, change your shipping address or billing address, you can do it right here. Now under customization on the right hand side, you can select what will show up in the invoice. You can also choose payment options, mess around with design and some automation. So let's let's take a look at customization first. By toggling these on and off, you can select what you want to have show up on the invoice. Right here, right live, as you prepare your invoice. Now for payment options, there won't be a lot going on in here, of course, because it's a sample company. But we can enter a deposit. Uh, we can enter a shipping fee. Now this would be a deposit previously paid. Be a little careful with this. I do have another video on it. You could end up with things going where you don't think they should be. Great place to add shipping. And then we can have a look at the automation. Now this is where you can turn on and off invoice reminders. So uh, invoice reminders themselves are still set up in the uh, overriding sales section under the gear icon at the top. But the beauty of this is you can choose if you want this customer to receive any of the invoice reminders or all of the invoice reminders or even none of the invoice reminders. But here you can toggle it directly specific for this invoice before you send it to your customer. Customer reports is a really cool feature. You're able to see uh, other invoices from this same customer, check out transactions, and of course, open invoices are the ones they haven't paid yet. So you might want to see that before you send it off. And that might also impact how many reminders you want to send out. We're not going to do that now because it takes us right out of the invoice field, but it is great that it's there. Any changes that we make here will only impact this invoice. You would, if you wanted to make overall changes, you would still need to go up to the gear icon to that old sales section. So when you're happy with your invoice, there's some great options here on the top left. What's going on here? Ah, okay. So let's put some items in our invoice. I'm going to sell them a fountain, add some shipping. And then we can have a look at some of these great new view options up on the top left. So this is what the email will look like. This is what the PDF that's attached to the email will look like. And then we're, and here we can mess around with the design as well. So we can change colors, we can change fonts. It's beautiful to be able to do this right on the invoice while we're looking at it without having to get right out into another whole customization. And then here's what they will see when they, is this when when they've paid? Yeah, no, this is before the pay. This is what they see when they're going to pay, which is something I usually don't get to see. And we can click right here. Another thing I like is review and send rather than just save and send. 
we have a quick look here. There's the email, which you can edit. There's the PDF they're going to receive. You can change around whatever you want to write there. You could even add another email address if you hadn't add, done that on the prior page and bang, save and send off to Diego. So overall, the functionality hasn't changed. All that's changed is the interface. It's now much easier to adjust things while you're preparing an invoice without having to leave the invoice open other pages and then return back to the invoice. So I'd love to hear what you think. Is this a change we like? If not, for a limited time, you can still change back to the old format, but there'll come a time when that option is no longer available. And if you haven't already, grab my month's end checklist below. It'll help you keep on track throughout the year and show you what report you can run to see who's paid you. It's important to keep up with those collections for your cash flow. Now, let me know if there are any other videos you'd like to see. Click like, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.